I am so, so excited to go and introduce the baby otters to their parents. Take a look. There was an entire nest cavity right here. And our red foot eggs are completely ready for the incubator. So the babies are going to go meet their parents right now. The parents are so excited to see them. What is up, everyone? And my lens is dirty. So, uh, yeah, just hold on a second. I'm going to have to clean that. I'm back guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Hope all of you guys are having an absolutely amazing day. Now guys, for today's video, I am so, so excited to go and introduce the baby otters to their parents. Yes, we're gonna be reuniting the otters with their parents. Um, I don't know if they're gonna be able to have like direct contact, maybe just through the fence. I think their parents will try to attack them and eat them. And yeah, that could just result in some serious injury. So we don't want that to happen at all. So before we do that, guys, guess what? I've got some red foot tortoise eggs here at the house. I just found a nesting female laying eggs. So before we even head over to the zoo, guys, we're gonna be collecting some tortoise eggs and putting them in the incubator. Take a look. There was an entire nest cavity right here. So I already filled it back in, but you can see there's just a ginormous hole in here that my hand can sit in. Like, look how deep this went. Went all the way there. I mean, I can literally stick my fingers over there. So I started digging around and guess what, guys? I was able to find some red foot tortoise eggs. Now the eggs are already inside we're getting ready to put them in the incubator but this is one red foot tortoise egg from these guys right here that actually didn't make it i think it got crushed by one of the tortoises stepping so you can see it's just all kind of like soft hard a little bit crispy we were able to get 11 eggs from this nest we would have had 12 if this one made it but you know i'm not going to complain 11 of them survived take a look at this guys look how cool this is we were able to get 11 amazing red foot tortoise eggs. Now, I'm not entirely sure if all of these eggs are fertile right here, but we can do the candling test. So if you guys don't know what candling is, it's basically where you shine like a little flashlight on reptile eggs and you're able to see if there's any growth development. So to do this, all we're gonna have to do is shut this light off right here, and then I'm gonna have to come here and individually shine these eggs. So if you look right here, when I go to shine this egg, you'll be able to kind of tell if there's growth. Let's actually make this a little less bright. Right there, that's perfect. So if you shine right here, you can see that there's like a growth ring right there. So that means that it's potentially fertile. So we're gonna do this to each and every egg. So if you see this egg right here, it's not dark. It's actually quite clear. That means that these were probably freshly laid or they could be infertile. So if the eggs are infertile, that means that they're not going to develop into a tortoise. They were not fertilized by a male, but that's got a growth ring. So if you see, there's like that black ring right there. So we're just gonna continue to do this to like every single egg and see if there's development. Like right there, you can see that one's got some good dark growth right there on that egg. So I'm almost positive that that one is fertile, but this one especially, look at when I shine the light. Look at that dark ring right there. That probably means that it's fertile. And, okay, I thought the light was broken. So what I'm gonna have to do now is I'm gonna have to create a perlite bin, which is this media right here. That's the incubation media. We're gonna have to get a nice clean tub for the eggs. So I'm going to be back with you guys in a second. Look at this, guys. We have the eggs entirely clean now. So they're not like totally clean, but they don't have those big chunks of dirt like they had before. So I've already got my perlite here, which is the incubation media, and I've already got egg number one inside of here. And we're just going to continue spacing them out evenly until we fill the entire bin. And our red foot eggs are completely ready for the incubator. I have intricately placed them here in the perlite, and I'm hoping they're going to be fertile. So the only thing we have to do now is just cover these guys up. We're going to snap, snap. We got number one, number two. Now I've decided I wanna place them here and I'm just going to remove this gauge right here. Move this little bin thingy majigger bobber water holder. There you go, tortoise eggs. So right in here, I've got these that I just put in there. I've got some sulcata and redfoot eggs in there and then I have some more sulcata eggs in there. So guys, I've got a lot of tortoises coming. Stay tuned, in about 90 days, these eggs will hatch. And now that the eggs are in the incubator, I'm going to go head over to the zoo where we are going to be feeding the otters and introducing them to their parents. Coral, Gatsby, come on guys. Guys, look, I've got the fish here for them. So this is fish is Capelin right here. So we feed this to our adult otters. But you can see I've cut it up into a bunch of small pieces for these little guys. Let's see if they want some here. They're so intrigued by the air vent. I don't know why. Here. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's some yummy fish. Oh, yeah. That's some good stuff, guys. That's some yummy fish. Oh, well, I guess I'm just going to let them eat it this way because they're going to become pretty possessive of their food. That's how otters are when they're older. We could just see they're just absolutely just pounding the fish. Oh, my gosh, guys. That's some good stuff, huh? 
Look how cute they are, so cute. Look at them, they're already getting a little bit feisty over the fish. So now that they're eating fish, guys, we're gonna slowly be weaning them off the bottles because, well, these guys can't be on bottles for too much longer, you know. Probably in about four to five days, they're gonna be completely off bottles. They're gonna be eating ferret diet as well as fish, other crustaceans, shrimp, all kinds of good stuff. So I just went inside and got some of this whole fish right here. So these are whole capelin fish, which actually come directly from Canada right here to us. So now that they're eating, you know, these little chunks so well, I think I'm gonna give them the whole fish because you can see the fish are already real soft. Just with my finger, I was just able to break it open like that. Let's see, you want some? Hey, which one do you want them? Here, hey, coral, right here. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm. That's some good stuff. Look at her just chew on this. Oh my gosh. You are such a little savage. Oh my gosh. Look at these guys. Here, you have that one. Take that. Corp, Caspi. Oh, Caspi's like, hmm, I don't know about that. Wait, wait. Oh, I've already got some on my mouth. Just wait a second. Let me chew that. Caspi, have some. There's some good stuff, Caspi. Please, please eat it. Here. No? Okay. And now that we fed Coral and Casper, guys, we're going to go get another bowl of fish for their parents and then reunite these little guys with their parents. Hi. I don't know, but otters love to go in your mouth. <laughs> oh. We have arrived now here at the otter enclosure. So you can see right here, they've got a just massive enclosure. Well, we've got rogue baby otters that way. They're running away, but we've got the parents right here and we're actually just gonna feed them from the outside of the enclosure because there's a baby in there and well, I don't want to disturb the baby. Come here. Here you go. So these are captive born Asian small claw otters. That's why they're here in captivity. Wow. Oh my goodness, there's babies. Look, they want to meet their parents. Look at them. Hi mom, hi dad, hi guys. Look at these guys just absolutely pounding the fish. Here you go. You want the fish? Get it with your little hands. Here you go. Take the fish. There you go. There you go, little one. Here, you want some more fishies? There you go, there you go. So you can see these guys are just so much bigger than the little babies right here. So the babies are gonna go meet their parents right now. The parents are so excited to see them. Look at them. The parents are so, so excited to meet the baby otters. Look at them. Oh my goodness, look at them. They just wanna say hi. And the babies are a little bit spooked out. Be, those are your parents, guys. Be nice to them. They don't know what to do. But if you guys look right here, this pond is just absolutely massive and it's completely filled up with water. You guys can see that right there. We have another beaver pond there. So these guys have just an absolutely amazing home. This is the area that we feed them. And then this is their entire habitat. So it is just absolutely massive. We got three otters in here. Hi guys! You can just hear just how vocal they are. I mean, it's just absolutely crazy. What is it? What is it? You excited? Look at this, guys. The babies are just so excited to meet their parents. Now, they're just going to be a little bit more calm after they've been seeing each other for a little bit. But, guys, just know this. Um, we're not going to put them together because we don't know what the parents are going to do. The parents could potentially bite them because they really don't know them, and the babies are a lot smaller. So we don't want that to happen. So we're going to keep it from, you know, a contact-free where they can just touch each other with their little feet, but they're not going to have direct contact. I mean, you can just see right here how much bigger the parents are. We got little Coral and Casper. Hi, parents. Hi. Can I can I touch your feet? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now, guys, I don't trust these otters. They are adult mature otters. They could potentially bite. So the only way I will have contact with them is just by placing my hand here for them to touch me with their little feet. Look how cute they are. Hi, guys. Look, meet your parents. Parents, come say hi. Guys, come on. Come here. Come here now, guys. These are captive-born Asian small claw otters. They were not taken out of the wild. You know, we rescued them. Hi, guys. Come here. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching it. Now, guys, stop what you're doing. Make sure to go give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And comment down below what you thought of reuniting the baby otters with their parents. Now, I would have loved to have actually had them have full direct contact, but it could have ended badly if the parents decided to bite them. You know, these are wild animals at the end of the day. They are not domesticated by any means. Oh. Hi, Amber. Hello, how are you doing? Now guys, if you wanna come meet the baby otters in person, you wanna come see Amber, you wanna come meet some tiger cubs, pet them, take pictures with them, well guys, you can come visit us today at ZWF Miami, and make sure to use the discount code JACOB20 and you will receive 20% off your entire purchase, but make sure to call because the code does not work online.